This is really fun. I'm so glad I've met you, Doug. This is so, this is like, it's like an um, imaginary journey. Yeah. yeah. When you guys called me, when you called me in December, I'm like, you're what? You're related? Really? And honestly, I grew up thinking, maybe I told you this, Gene Stratton Porter came from 12. My grandmother on my mother's side came from 12. Where is everybody? I should have been one of those kids that were going to the family reunion every summer and coming back to school in third grade and saying, we went to a road trip across the USA and we went to a family reunion. I was always so envious of those kids that got to do that. I thought, I want to be them, but we never did. And now I'm meeting all kinds of cousins. Wait, I'm so stoked you're coming next weekend. Oh, yeah. 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 Janet and I have cried and laughed and written. I can't wait to see her. It's been 45 years. You want to know what she said? So I wrote, she wrote to me after she got, you know, on Facebook, then we got exchanged email. And she said, you know, yes, she confirmed who she was. I'm, I'm Janet Holmes and I, you know, my mother was Jan and my mother, you know, blah, blah, blah. We figured, and I said, you know, OMG, big capital letters, oh my God, I've met you. And she wrote back and she said, where? And I said, you came to my house, to my mother and dad's house, in it had to be probably early 60s, middle 60s maybe, and you were with your mom, and I was an early teenager, I was maybe 12 or 13, and you were a little girl, and I remember leaning down and saying to you, so how old are you? And I said, you looked right at me and said, I'm four and a quarter. <laughs> and that became a saying in our family, a quarter, every single year when one of us would hit the three month mark, it would be, well, well I'm 10 and a quarter. Well, I'm 15 and a quarter. And we always remembered that. And I had wondered for 40 more, more than 40 years where she was. And what she was doing and where she disappeared to. That's, that's one of the most remarkable occurrences in the last year. I mean, oh. I, that was just wonderful. It was amazing. So when I wrote that back to her, yeah. she said, oh my God, I remember that visit. <laughs> and she was four. Wow. And she said, I remember you, your mom had white carpet and she did indeed. And I, I I thought, oh my gosh, we've connected. I mean, it's we've got the same sort of acerbic sense of humor. Yeah. And um, thank you. You're welcome. It took a little longer. That they were out of it, so we made it up. Oh, okay. well, so what a nice darling! Thank, thank you. you. Um, just an adorable, adorable girl. I just can't wait to see her and I've got something really, really special for her because she doesn't have a lot of information, yeah. just very few pictures. Um, she just doesn't have a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I went through the same box of negative uh, slides okay. that I found, my dad's slides, and I found so many that are her grandmother and my dad in probably the early, late 30s, the late 30s it had to be, um, playing around at Sylvan Lake. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. So I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. So I had them made up into pictures. Yeah. And I'm going to give them to her. I'm so excited. That'll be a very special her. gift. I can't wait. And she doesn't, she doesn't understand, like, the dots, you know, where all the players stood. Yeah. So, I got her that book. Have you ever read that book? It's a very small, thin booklet by David McLean. And it's um, the Porter Stratton book. I've read so many. I know, this is tiny. No, I haven't. Have you seen this one? It's, um, 
No. It shows, it, it tells just about everybody, and it, it puts all the players, you can take it out of that plastic bag. I just didn't want it to get ripped at, uh, in transit. So I found that for her, I found that copy for her. Oh, wow. And um, I'm gonna give it to her, and it shows all about the Strattons, about the Porters, about the Dorwins, about everybody and, and all their places. It uh, mentions her uh, great-grandfather, it mentions my great-grandfather. It's just a, a nice little synopsis of the family. So I'm really, really excited to give it to her. I'm really, you know, I'm really excited to give it to her. Well, I'm very excited to see it. Yeah. I'm tempted to keep it. You can't just. <laughs> <laughs> are there, uh, are there other copies? Copy. I don't know. That I, would can, be, I can find it. That would be wonderful. I definitely will work on that. Wow. I'm really, really excited just to give her something just to say, yes, this is you. And you know what? She's adorable. Wow. She said to me, um, oh, I don't know. I, I said, I'm going to meet you at Fort Wayne. And she said, well, I'm at the airport. And she, um, she said, um, well, I've rented a car because, you know, maybe we'll need another car. And I said, I'm coming anyway. You can rent your car, but I can't wait until you drive up there. I just, mm. I, I'm not going to wait one more minute to see you. I just wow. am not. So I'm coming up there to give to see her. And it's, wow. she said, well, I'll be the one, which is so Jean Stratton Porter. She said, I'll be the one with the backpack and the fly, fly fishing rod. And I thought, yeah. oh, that's so Jean Stratton Porter. That's, she was such a fisherman and Janet's mother and great aunt were such fisher ladies. You should see these pictures, crazy pictures. She's still giving, it's just amazing. This woman was born 150 years ago and here we all are, hugging and calling each other family because that's what she gave us.